Yo, what's up everyone? Ryan Little here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Man, it's been a minute since I've been on the camera, but I'm back now. Um, thank you guys so much for the warm reception back with the release of um, you know, a little teaser for you know what's coming up for the future. The 524-21, excuse me. But that's actually out now if you want to go back. Um, it's the previous video. Listen to it. It's a pretty short song, but I think you guys will like it. Again, just a teaser to what I have planned for the rest of this year, or at least my work ethic, at least for the rest of this year. I'm going to be putting out a, a lot of singles uh, moving forward. I've, I've, I kind of went away from that for a bit, but I want to do more of that moving forward. So, again, just a little small teaser. But anyways, thank you guys for the warm reception back. It was it was really cool to see all the comments and the likes and everything. So thank you. Um, even outside of YouTube, seeing it stream on audio, Matt, SoundCloud, YouTube, whatever. I'm honored. So thank you guys so much. Um, second thing, I have merch now. Um, obviously, I released starting over. And I feel like I never announced this on YouTube. But I have merch. Uh, I have, if I can get this, if I can get this right. I have hoodies, uh, not only in pink, I have them in a variety of colors with the starting over logo on it. So yeah, man, go in and uh, check it out. Also, I have also some stickers, you know what I'm saying? Some starting over stickers. And I have uh, t-shirts as well, and all in various colors. So, you know, whatever you want, you can get it. I'll put that link in the description. So, so if you enjoy starting over and want something tangible, physical, to have uh, to kind of commemorate the album or just some dope clothes, man. Just go to uh, the link in the description uh, for starting over merch. Uh, it'll be out for a while. So if you don't have it now, it's cool. But definitely want to order as soon as you can so that you can get it uh, to your door as quickly as possible. So again, merch is out. Go get it. And yeah, with that being said, I thought it'd be really cool today if we did a beat breakdown of one of the beats from starting over. We're going to look at conversations. It's one of my favorite beats from the project. I really enjoy this beat. We'll do uh, uh, a breakdown of it. And just as a bit of backstory, um, this beat was actually meant for someone. I, I had made the beat, and I kind of had someone in mind for it. And you know, and plans just kind of fell through. It never ended up getting to uh, the artist who I had in mind for it. But I listened to it. I was like, man, this really kind of fits what I'm thinking about in terms of starting over the the project itself and how it fits into the track list into the, the you know the scheme of what i'm uh to the the concept excuse me of what i want for this project so let's break it down really quickly and yeah let's get to it so i have the project up here uh this is conversations it was literally called hard for me um or in other words like difficult for me uh it, original intent was kind of be like man like, like moving on from something and how difficult it can be to move on from like a relationship or a situation or so on and so forth that was kind of the original intent when i was first making the beat uh, but then listen to it a second time or i guess third or fourth time cause I, I made this beat literally last year this beat was made in 2020 and listening to it i was like man um this could be you know used differently uh for you know for this project so so we're gonna start just with, so we're gonna try to make it as quickly as possible. Just start with what I usually do. When it comes to making beats, I usually start with a sample. I was digging through some stuff that I had you know, on my hard drive or whatever. Came across this sample uh, from the Rucker Collective. The sample is literally called uh, Hard For Me. And I guess that's why I actually named it that initially. Uh, but that's the name of the sample. And it originally sounded like this have it over here let's see if I can play what you sound like so I ended up setting the tempo of the sample and these markers here are basically slices and they help to slice the sample so whenever I play a certain note it plays it plays various uh, parts of the sample and that's important for this next part I'm going to get into 
So I'm in SliceX. That's the name of this particular VST that I'm using here. I took these slices and I migrated them to this little bad boy here, which is called Slicer, Fruity Slicer. And as you see, the sample is here, but uh, but obviously it's a smaller window, but the slices are still there. And you probably notice that these sound a bit different, um, and we'll, I'll explain that in a second. What I did was, um, with the tempo originally being at 125, I actually moved, actually sped up the sample to a tempo of 146, so it sounds faster. And I actually pitched it down. I believe this is 300 cents. So for you music nerds, you guys know that's about anyone else. Just know that I pitched it down so that the, the pitch now sounds different. So instead of a higher pitch, it's a lower pitch. So for the intro here, this part here, which is sample intro, literally all I did, I took the sample and I played out the, the chop per usual. So it, it sounds, it's, it's straightforward. As I just played just then, it's pretty straightforward. You see this little, this little purple uh, bar here and it has love filter. I basically filtered out the, the lows from the sample. I went to Fruity Love Filter, which is basically a filtering uh, plugin, and it's a stock preset. So it's a high pass single preset. The only thing I did, I turned the resonance down uh, because sometimes I don't like the way it sounds when it comes to samples. So literally you have this as the first part. Again, it's the same thing. That loop. So what things change is when you get here. So those markers I mentioned earlier, uh, I need those because I want to make different patterns out of the sample. I don't want the sample just to loop the whole time. I want to make different patterns out of it. So I'll see if I can get this right in the first try. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Uh, but this is the this is the sample loop I play. I think I, I think I can remember this. And then next is coming to adding drums. All of my drums, I, you know, I uh, I, I play in. I don't, excuse me. I, I actually uh, tapped in for this one. I actually punched them into uh, this little piano roll here, or the sequencer, excuse me. And I have just various patterns. Drum pattern one, which is kick and snare, kick and snare. Another kick drum pattern, kick snare pattern. Various patterns. Um, hi-hats, some more hi-hats, some percussion, we'll, and we'll go through them all. So anyways, so here's what the drum pattern sounds like without, uh, without the melody. Man, it's, that's fire. So, start with the kicks again. For some reason, I doubled the kick. I'm not sure why I doubled the kick, but I, I guess it just sounded harder in the moment. So I doubled it. So it's a kick and basically a kick and snare pattern. Uh, actually, it is two, and it's two snares. So yeah, so I'm not sure. I don't know why I do that. I think sometimes it helps with the fullness of the way it sounds to me, like the fullness of the kick and snare. Maybe it sounds fuller when I do that, but yeah. Anyway, so nothing crazy. Just a you know, pretty simple pattern. And there's some variation to that. Unless we have the hi-hats. And there's actually two separate hi-hats. Uh, let's see. So we have this one. And if you're listening, it's panning. And I think I did that in the actual... Let's reset this. Let's see if I... Oh, okay. It's here. Let's go to panning. Yeah. And you see, it's panning. So left, right, left, right, or right, left. Then you have this hat. 
doing the same thing, just a different hat. Pretty simple. Put them together. They complement each other very, very well. Next, we have percussion rim. Same thing. I love playing with the way things sound in your ears, so I'm always panning things left and right. So, so yeah. And finally, we have uh, for just the one shots, we have a random open hi hat, and it plays differently every four bars. So for the first four bars, it plays close to the end of that, and then for the second four bars, it plays close to the beginning, as you just heard. So we can put it into context. Take it out. Wait. So that sounds cool. You know, you have this. So, you know, it sounds pretty cool. And I had this, but I'm like, something was missing. And I didn't know what it was. So I knew I needed to add something. And this is when I found this percussion loop. Um, found this percussion loop. It originally sounded like this. Check it out. See if I have the right one. I know you're probably thinking, what the heck is that? But I knew it had potential. So I ended up uh, taking it. And I basically kind of shrunk it and kind of uh, stretch, not stretch, I ended up pinching it uh, because it's actually a longer, a longer loop. I pinched it to the first, you know, two bars or whatever. So it went from sounding like that to sounding like this. Check it out. I was like, okay, that's it. So you put that together with the rest of the beat, and that's when you really get the groove of the of the beat. And it sounds like this. You see how that just plays it so well into it. That's so dope. So yeah, yeah, that's it. So. That is the beat uh, in its entirety. Uh, well, well, I guess the elements in its entirety. If you want to listen to it, uh, my project starting over is out now. Uh, it's been out for a while, but just in case you haven't heard it, it's out. All streaming services here on YouTube. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere, so on and so forth. Go get it. Um, if you want to, if you're into buying projects, uh, if you know, just stream it. Doesn't matter. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, this beat again, conversations. Uh, there are. I believe six more beats on the main project and there's at least in the the core of the project there's seven tracks and then there's three more if i'm not mistaken for uh for bonuses it's crazy that i'm not even sure how many there are for bonuses and this is a core project uh but yeah starting over out now again go get your merch if you want to do that as well i'll appreciate it and yeah guys i'm back i'll be doing more of these it, if you want to see anything else, like when it comes to beat breakdowns, if you want to see anything else in my process, if you want to ask me questions, I can do videos on on answering certain questions. Like I do, you know, like if you want to ask me a question about, you know, beat block, how should I cure beat block, or if you want to ask me stuff, anything about being a producer or just being like an artist, you know, somewhat in in the music realm, let me know. I will make videos uh, spending time answering these questions. Uh, again, I can, I can devote one video to a, a, a question, or I can do a lot of questions in, in one you know one video. It may not be as detailed of an answer, but I can do that as well. Just let me know what you guys are thinking. Again, Ryan Little, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm glad to be back. And I will see you guys next Monday. I have a new drop for you guys, new instrumental drop. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and yeah, much love. Love y'all.